hey programmers welcome to our channel so today we will see a uh, difference between having a standard wordpress and a managed wordpress first of all i would like to tell you that i have created some test on both of these uh, um, it is a managed wordpress and it is a standard wordpress and here are the results that i have got from the page speed insights for a managed wordpress here you can see that I am getting the contextual paint of 1.3 second and the speed index of 2.4 and the rest of these are here and here you can see some other stats maybe you can pause the video and uh, refer to it I am just quickly dropping it down so that I can move to the next part and it's your choice to stop and uh, see it in detail I also got in touch with the iNOS team and they told me that there is no difference performance wise in having a managed WordPress and a, a standard WordPress but uh, the there are few limitations of having a managed WordPress like you cannot modify the database directly and if you want to um, modify the database then first of all you have to convert that to a standard WordPress then you would be able to access the database and the same goes with the folder like uh, you cannot modify any uh, for existing file or you cannot create any new folder in your existing wordpress in case of managed wordpress and if you would like to do so first of all you have to convert that to a standard wordpress and uh, in case you are reverting back to the managed wordpress you won't be able to see your changes also in case of managed wordpress your theme gets the auto updates and the core wordpress also gets the auto updates so in case uh, you would like to restrict the auto updates in managed wordpress there is no way to do so so i would recommend going with the standard wordpress in case uh, your uh, you would like to restrict your wordpress from getting auto updates and plus if you would like to get the freedom of uh, changing things frequently so let's see about the performance here is the uh, desktop performance states for a managed wordpress and let's move back i can also not see much difference between both of these uh, here is the states of uh, standard wordpress in case of inos both are both of my websites are hosted at inos so this doesn't make much difference you can see all the stats and the reports Zero point nine, zero point five, zero point five, and here it is zero point four, zero point six, and zero point four. In case I would, uh, I would refresh, then uh, it would change the numbers because it depends uh, on certain few things that I don't know. Let's see the uh, GT matrix report for both of these. This one is a standard WordPress, and it is a managed WordPress. Stats, stats are before you so you can just drill down Here you can see that it is a standard WordPress and I am able to create any folder in that directory. But in case of uh, managed WordPress, you won't be able to uh, uh, create any new folder in that directory. So that's all about this video. So in my personal view is that uh, having a standard WordPress is better. But 
as i know is saying that there is no performance issues uh, in both of these so it's good if you are a developer then it's good to go with the um, standard wordpress but uh, as the gt matrix is saying that there is slightly difference uh, slightly different performance issues with the standard wordpress yeah thanks for watching thank you thanks everyone